Hi friends, welcome back. We are so glad that you are joining us today. We got lots to do. We're gonna sing, worship, learn about God, and maybe see Melman. So let's jump right into it. Stand to your feet and let's worship. there would be dinner. Dinner? Dinner? D-I-M-M. You know, dinner. I don't need to spell it for you. Yeah, I know what you mean when you say dinner, but it's not dinner time. Well, I know, but I was told there would be dinner. I was promised it, and I like to eat, and I'm hungry, and it was promised to me. Okay, okay. I also like to eat, um, but you were promised dinner? Yes. Well, you know what? That kind of reminds me of today's Bible story. Oh. Yeah, God promised to bring his son to earth as a baby. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And uh, did he fulfill his promise? He absolutely did fulfill his promise. Wow, and why, um, why did we need, uh, why do we need Jesus again? Just remind me, like I know, but maybe for the boys and girls. Yeah, maybe, maybe they forgot. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need Jesus for salvation. Oh, to save us from our sins. Save us from our sins, oh, exactly. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But, um, I'm still hungry. You're still hungry. Well, maybe we should learn more about promises in our mm -hmm. video mm -hmm. and from our teacher. Mm -hmm. And we can go figure out the food thing. Okay, that sounds good. Let's watch it and we'll go eat. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that 
Good singing. That was so good. It's time for our Bible lesson. So find a spot, cuddle up, grab your Bible, grab maybe a snack, and let's watch. Hello, boys and girls. It is me, Moman, and I am back to tell you some of my favorite Bible stories. Are you ready? Okay. God made many promises in the Bible, and we can read about his promise to Adam and Eve to send a rescuer. He promised to bless Abraham and give him a family. And God called Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt and promised to be with him along the way. Throughout the Old Testament, we see examples of God's faithfulness. Through the prophets, God made promises about the promised rescuer, the Messiah, who would save people from sin. Isaiah was sharing God's promise for the future. Now we know that God fulfilled his great promise by sending his son, Jesus. The son of God came to the world as a baby. He grew up and faced temptation and suffering just like you and just like me. Yet he never 
sinned. He died on the cross and rose from the dead on the third day to save everyone who trusts in him. He returned to heaven and is reigning over the universe as the perfect eternal king. We celebrate Jesus' birth because through Jesus, God shows us that he always keeps his promises big or small like Melman. Does God keep his promises? Yeah, because God is faithful. We are going to watch a little video now about God. When sin entered the world after Adam and Eve rebelled, God made an important promise. God promised a rescuer would come from Eve's family. As years passed, God's people waited for him to keep his promise. God sometimes spoke to his people through prophets and prophetesses, men and women who received a message from God and then told it to the people. The prophet Isaiah shared a message about God's promise to send a rescuer. The rescuer would be called the Messiah, which means anointed one or chosen one. This is what Isaiah wrote. The people are living in darkness now, but they will see a great light. A light will shine on them. God will grow the nation and give the people joy. People will rejoice like they do at harvest time or after a war is won. This is how God will keep his promise. A child will be born for us, a son will be given to us, and the government will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. All these names tell us who Jesus is and the great things that he would do. Jesus was coming to earth to help people and to protect people. Jesus would be a king who cares about his people, and he would bring peace to the whole world. Isaiah also said, his kingdom will be full of his power and peace. The kingdom will grow and he will reign on the throne as the king. He will be a good, fair, and loving king who reigns forever. God keeps his promises. He remembered his promise to send a rescuer and sent his son Jesus into the world as a baby. Jesus grew up and provided salvation for sinners by dying on the cross and rising from the dead. Wow, what a cool video. God keeps his promises. He remembered his promise to send a rescuer and sent his son Jesus into the world as a baby. Jesus grew up and provided salvation for sinners by dying on the cross and rising from the dead. That is one of Melman's favorite stories, and I hope you liked it too. All right, guys, it's time for our Unit 4 Memory Verse. The words are going to be on the screen, and I'm going to show you the actions. So I would love if you stood up on your feet and did it with me. Let's say it together. God isn't a mere human. He can't lie. He isn't a human being. He doesn't change his mind. He speaks, and then he acts. He makes a promise, and then he keeps it. That's found in Numbers 23, verse 19. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. Make sure you're standing and you're doing it with me. Here we go. God isn't a mere human. He can't lie. He isn't a human being. He doesn't change his mind. He speaks and then he acts. He makes a promise and then he keeps it. Numbers 23, verse 19. Awesome job, boys and girls. Happy memorizing. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back for another craft time with Crystal and Maggie. We have a pretty great craft for you this week. It's a little bit different from our other crafts. So are you guys ready to see what it is? All right. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on our North View Kids website and you're going to print off this word search, okay? So you have one that is a little bit easier and on the back there is one that's a little bit harder. Now this word search 
has all different names of Jesus. So we have Messiah, King, Friend, Savior, God, Teacher, Deliverer, all kinds of names, okay? So you're gonna go print that off. Maggie's gonna work on this one for us right now. And then we have something we're gonna do with all these names that you find at the bottom, okay? Are you ready to see what it is? You're gonna get a bunch of strips of paper. You're gonna cut them out because we're gonna take those names that you found in the word search and we're gonna make a chain out of them. So you're gonna get all different colors of paper that you wanna use. You could use red, purple, yellow, orange. We have a couple different blues. We got a pink in there, a green and a purple. And then you're gonna take the names on your word search that you found, just like this, and you're gonna write them on it. So we wrote a bunch of them down. We got teacher on here. We have God, we have deliverer. So you're gonna take that piece of paper and then you're gonna fold the ends together just like this, all right? And then you're gonna use a piece of tape and you're gonna go right across the middle. Now you wanna make sure that you don't use too big of tape because it makes it a lot more difficult. You have to start folding it under and stuff. So just use a little piece of tape. Then you're gonna get the next name that you did and you're gonna put it through just like that. So now we have teacher. You're gonna use a piece of tape. You're gonna put it on top just like this. And then you're eventually gonna have a nice long chain. It's gonna be even longer than that, okay? After you find out all the names right here on your word search. Because what was our Bible lesson today? God keeps his promises and he sent a deliverer, his son, who would be the savior of the world. And those are all different names of Jesus. He is our savior, our rescuer. He is the deliverer. He's the son of God. He is our teacher. So we're gonna write all those down. He is the king, right? We're gonna write all those down and those will remind us of all the different amazing things that God is. All right, do you wanna keep doing that, Maggie? All right, we'll see you next time. I wanna see what I read in the Holy Bible. I believe I could be like the 12 disciples. It's the same Holy Spirit living in me. I wanna be radical for Jesus. I yeah 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 yeah. Radical for Jesus. I yeah 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 yeah. Unapologetically living on my faith. Radical for Jesus. I yeah 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 yeah. Oh oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah no. Walk in the street. And I will trust you to guide my way Jesus is you, I'll follow Follow you all the way Ride a coast and tall for you I'll trade it all just to be with you No turning back, no more I want
friends, that wraps up our service for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you that you are a God who keeps your promises. We ask that we trust in your plans every day of our lives. We thank you for today and that we could come here and learn about you and worship you. We ask that we can have opportunities to tell our friends and family about you. And all God's children said, amen. Alrighty, it's time for our discussion questions and I'll see you later.